Hello and welcome to this quick look at one of the new features that we just added to Worldographer. I'm Joe Wetzel, the creator of Worldographer. This new feature is available in version 1.154 and it's for tapering a river automatically. What you would do is you pull up the shapes drawer here. Let me expand it a little bit so we get some of those other options there. We have a new button to taper a selected line. What you want to do for this is uh, create a line first and set the color to a coastline color, for example. Um, actually, let me go back up to terrain and let's just uh, rough in the uh, color for a coastline because the auto-generated map does just the ocean color, but then typically what you could do is add sort of a um, coastal sea color here for the area that's not too deep, something like that. So um, if you come down here to shapes again, um, to our shapes drawer and pick our line and we've already picked the color and the width is gonna be important because that's gonna drive the width of our river in the resulting um, after the tapered line. And so to do this, uh, you're gonna to wanna to start at kind of the end, um, the small part of the river, if you will. And so we'll have it coming up here in this uh, jungle mountain area and I'm just clicking a few points through this jungle and that's what we end up with for our um, river line. So then I can hit this taper line selected button and it's going to automatically change and taper and what's what that's doing, let me zoom in get a better view of it, what that's doing if I undo um, we took those uh, points for that line um, and then converted it into, I'll do it again, taper line selected, um, and converted those points uh, into the outline, into a polygon um, by doing, uh, it's a good thing I've been reviewing a lot of geometry with my daughter and uh, refresh that to get the slope and the tangent, the line of the tangent to the slope and then uh, based on the width and um, put, it, put in these uh, points um, that will get, allow us to have an outline. Um, the only other thing that I might do is you, you know, I might be a little bit too narrow down here on the end. Um, these are all though just points and uh, as the help text here shows you um, I can control drag these points so if I wanted to widen these for a little bit I could. Um, if I didn't want this tail to be quite so long I could. I can widen these up a little bit if I want to. There's actually two points there next to each other. But that gets you an idea of what you can do if you zoom in even further, of course, then you've got a little bit more control over these. So if you don't wanna, there. So that's what it does by default, and you can do that to any selected line. We can auto-generate a bunch of uh, rivers for our um, world. Um, using the generate rivers up here and then you can apply this taper line selected to each one by selecting the river and then applying that um, and it just gives you a nicer look. One other thing that you can do with this if you wish is you can add a drop shadow to kind of give it a coastline uh, look or a, um, a riverbank look. Uh, you can play with the radius of that drop shadow you can give it the different color, maybe a deeper brown, for example, if you want, or a black. Um, you can go black. You can give it a very narrow outline by basically making it a tight radius, but a very high spread. Um, so you can play with that to get the effect you want. Now, then the remaining thing is then when it meets the ocean, what do you do? And for this, you would create a, a polygon with the appropriate color fill. I believe it was that one. And then with um, uh, no, no width to the border of that and snap to vertex, snap the points to the grid. And now that we've got that all set up, I can just click here and here and here. Oh, and then drop that drop shadow and you get something like this. Um, so that's uh, the new tapered river functionality in Worldographer. 
this was done thanks to our um, to a poll where we asked it, or asked our patrons on patrons on Patreon, um, which is at patreoncom ideas. Asked them for what new features they wanted to see added, and this was the top vote getter. So we put this in here. Um, again, I'm Joe Wetzel. This is Worldographer. Thank you very much, and I hope this helps you make some great maps.